In this video, I'm going to share with you how to manage lithium batteries in the cold. This is a serious challenge where you don't want your little battery powering your super important summit camera or whatever it is to die when the critical moment happens. This question was sent to me from a viewer, hopefully a subscriber. The name is Ryan Arafin. Hopefully I pronounced your name correctly. Sorry if I mangled it. From my video, best winter or best budget winter camping gear for beginners. So please check out that video out after you check out this one. But Ryan, he had a couple questions and he said, uh, I wish I'd saw this video the uh, best budget winter camping gear before I started my, buying my more expensive winter layers. And he had two questions. In the extreme cold, did you do anything special to take care of your lithium batteries or did you just trust the temperature rating and it worked out? And then question number two was what was the plastic covering under the tent for? Thank you very much, Ryan. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments below. I will do my best to answer them as quick as I can, make videos so that not only you benefit, but also everyone else benefits. So Ryan, uh, first question is, what is the plastic under the tent for? Even though when you're camping on glaciers and snow, if you know you're an absolute glacier, no problem. But if I'm camping in the forest and I know there's snow, I always like to have a plastic tarp below because Invariably, I'll be on mud, sticks, muck, whatever, and I do not want to trash the bottom of my expensive tent, so I use an extra plastic tarp to protect it. So hopefully that answers the question. Now on to the question that you came here to have answered. What about those little pesky lithium batteries? Lithium batteries in your GPS, lithium batteries in your camera, lithium batteries maybe in your headlamps, lithium batteries in or maybe not in your avalanche beacon. Lithium batteries in your other GPS, what do you do about that? Okay, here it is. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna give a couple pointers and links so you might have some better information about this. But lithium batteries are two fundamental types, well, they're actually a couple, but two fundamental different types of lithium batteries. The first, dun -dun -dun -dun, are primary batteries. These batteries are arguably the ultimate, these Energizer Ultimate Lithiums. Nice name, isn't it? Well, these are called primary batteries, like a triple A's or double A's that you might use in your headlamp. And primary batteries, once they are used up, they're gone. This is a $10, $11 US pack. Shoom, links below, of course, in the description to all the products I'm talking about. But lithium primary batteries work incredibly well at minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius. Totally rocket. However, when was the last time you owned a camera where double or triple A lithium batteries fit in there? It's been a long time for me. So step into the big bucket battery and the small bucket battery for camping, just like this camera here. What do you actually do? Well, when the lithium, and so, and by the way, I'm an engineer. I have a degree in electrical engineering and a master's in computational science, and I did years of battery engineering. So I know a little bit about what I'm talking about in using them. But lithium batteries, as long as you don't use them, you're not actually out there filming and you've got your camera on and you're doing whatever. If you're just storing them and you've got them stored wherever in your Ziploc here, you know, you get your batteries in there, they will be fine. They will not lose charge. When they warm up, typically they will recover totally fine. If they're in your camera or something else where there's a little bit of drain, then yes, they will start to lose charge. So the way these lithium polymers work and just about any other type of battery, including my glorious nickel metal hydrides, check out links below to the huge review about these, is that these lithium batteries, once you use them in the cold, they lose a proportionate amount of charge. If you have got this much charge and they lose this much charge, when they warm up, theoretically they come back up in proportion, they don't. That is the annoying thing about that. Lithium primary batteries generally recover well, but these batteries, once they're in the cold, they do not proportionally come up. They're maybe 80 or 90% super irritating. How do I solve this? Well. In Antarctica, I was out there for three months. Boy, oh boy, big challenge. Uh, check out links below in the description to read that. But what I did to keep my batteries alive when I had my camera is not to put 
my camera in the outside pocket if I could avoid it, or a spare battery in the outside pocket, one, because you'll lose them. But two, when you pull that camera out and it's minus 20 degrees and you're trying to film, I made that mistake when I was on Denali. I was coming down, raging winds, blowing my sled around. I almost got dragged off a cliff. That was awesome. <laughs> but I was trying to film my sled being blown away, 80 pound sled, and my battery died in the camera. Suck fast. So what you do, you put your batteries in your gloves. You put your batteries in your hood, on your hat, inside your jacket, not outside. At night, when you're not using the batteries, you can just totally put them in a Ziploc and it's no big deal. You put your batteries in a Ziploc, you'll do just fine. So that works, but when you're actively using them, you need to have the batteries inside your coat, inside a secondary jacket, if at all possible, because when your batteries are on the outside of your jacket, that camera is still at minus 20 degrees Fahrenheit or minus uh, like 28 degrees Celsius. It's just not gonna work, it's gonna die. So what do you do to solve the problem of keeping those batteries recharged over a period of say, you're going to climb Denali for several weeks, what do you do? Well, you can bring a charger. You have to have solar panels for that, super handy. Solar panels are great, but so often, what happens if the weather is a stink fest? Is that gonna work? No, definitely not. So what do you do? You bring battery banks. Battery banks are totally awesome. There's a whole bunch of different battery banks you can bring, and they all have USB connections for charging and everything. Because when I've gone on my Yellowstone expeditions over a series of 10 days, if I see the sun one day, I'm lucky and it's usually in midday when it's broiling when I can't put solar panels out. So I instead, for recharging these, I bring battery banks. The thing about these lithium polymer rechargeable batteries is the same problem. You gotta warm these guys up. So instead of just setting your battery out with your charger in your tent, sitting there like totally freezing, don't do that because the battery will say it's totally charged, but it is not charged. These little things lie to you. These little chargers, ooh, <laughs> these little chargers here, they lie to you. They think they're charged and they're not because when the battery is super cold, the temperature isn't high enough in the battery for the chemistry to work, for the charging voltage to detect, and it thinks it's charged up, but as soon as the battery warms up, it dies. That's a big problem. So what you need to do is Make sure that your batteries are warm. Put your batteries on the charger. You know, let's see, where's my GoPro here? Look at this, I've got a crazy amount of GoPro batteries. GoPro 8, yeah, by the way. Yeah, look how many batteries I've got for this thing just to keep this thing alive. But what you do is you put your GoPro batteries on your charger, you plug that into your, you know, your battery bank here or whatever you're using, and then you put those batteries with the charger inside your sleeping bag with a hot water bottle. This is the whole key. This is what you've been waiting for this whole video. Not only do you need to keep your batteries alive while you're using them by keeping, keeping them in an in, in, uh, internal jacket pocket, but when you need to recharge those batteries, you need to do them in a warm environment. If you're recharging these guys at zero degrees Fahrenheit or minus 18 degrees, 19 degrees Celsius, they're not gonna recharge. That's just how battery chemistry and lithium polymers work. It's annoying, but that's the way it works. So if you can figure out how to get AA or AAA batteries to work in cameras like this, huge thing. Last bonus point here, headlamps. When that sucker is out, and it's freezing and you're climbing your mountain or whatever, be prepared, have fresh lithium batteries when you're going, hey, my lighting fixture just fell apart, that's cool. Well, fresh lithium batteries every time. If you're gonna be on a high mountain, it's far away, and you think, oh, these batteries are expensive, I'll reuse them again, big mistake, don't do it. So that is a key thing, trust me, $10 in batteries versus your life dying on a mountain, not worth it. Hopefully that'll give you a couple ideas. And the most last critical thing I'm gonna tell you about is
Adventure Expedition 1, and my book, Lost in Winnie Corner. I talk about these things of how to manage it. You don't really need a headlamp on Denali, but you do need batteries. In Adventure Expedition 1, I talk about the handling battery issue and all the things I talk about in this video in more depth and detail. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Love doing this stuff, bringing it to you. Please check out links in the description of my books, Antarctic Tears, Lost at Windy Corner, Adventure Expedition 1, How to Keep Your Feet Warm in the Cold, The Jackson Hole Hiking Guide, The Most Crucial Knots to Know, and the 2024 Total Eclipse Guides, as well as my show in the links in the description, World Beyond and Antarctic Tears. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you can get more information like this. Thank you.